Good morning. Um, so just a quick look at a few hints and tips on how to get the best out of the app. So one of the things you may have noticed is uh, is a couple of profile options. Now you can set these up however you want. So I've set mine up as weather down here and disease models. And uh, now that will change in a second. There you go. So all, all I've done is I've used the two profiles to split out the kind of weather metrics I'm using. So I use this one to check out the daily weather. What's the rainfall look like today? What's the humidity look like? Temperatures, uh, spray window opportunities, wind speed, all of that kind of stuff. And then when I want to look at some stuff in more detail, anything that's agronomically based, I'll have a look at my leaf wetness in that profile. Now you can set this up by simply clicking on edit dashboard and then choosing the profile name so you can change that in there da, 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 da. Um, so we could just call that agronomic and also when you're in there you can just choose which ones you want what you can also do if you're particularly interested in the smith kern's dollar spot model is you can take that and you can drag it to the top if that's your priority if growth degree days are important for you you can move them up there too so you can click that and then that's all set up however you set it um, so that's the one i look at quickly that's the one i pour over a little bit more now another thing you can do you can see on evapotranspiration that has gone to orange that is because that is above my threshold so if we go into evapotranspiration and click in this top right hand corner the little settings wheel you can set your risks now i've set a medium risk of three and a high risk of four so what that means is when it goes above three it will highlight it as orange when it goes above four it will highlight it as red so if you little bit more um, dry out a little bit less than I do you can set that at five so when that goes above five that will highlight as red whilst I'm here and it will interesting thing on ET rates um, the box at the bottom of the screen I don't know if you can see my finger when I click that that is 3.2 mil is the average over this two-week period the amount of evapotranspiration we're getting this year now historically for this site our two-week average for this time of the year is 4.9. So a real indicator of just how much um, wetter it is this year than it has been in historic years. We're running one and a half mil um, per day less evapotranspiration. So there you go. That's it for this one. I'll try and send you out another one soon. Cheers.